I don't know how many people, I know a lot of people in the room are familiar with UTMC and the UDG. Um, there are tweaks, ongoing tweaks, um, which may be of interest to you. For the people that aren't familiar with UTMC and the UDG, UTMC started ages ago when probably some of you weren't born um, in the early 1990s uh, as a how can we do things better in traffic management with technology uh, initiative. And it went through a, a bunch of different phases. There was a, a, a sort of um, a preparatory phase, a scoping phase. There was a, a, a full-on uh, government-supported research program in the early part of this century. Um, it went then, then went out into the community for continued management. And the UDG was set up in 2003 or something um, as the UTMC development group to carry it forward with the support of local authorities and supply industry. And that was all jolly good. The principles of UTMC were all about um, how best to uh, provide a framework of specifications that allow different systems that are involved in traffic management to link to each other using open specifications. The idea being that by doing so, you can make it easier for authorities to design architectures of products that they could then slot together. You can make it easier for suppliers to design interfaces that would work with other suppliers' products. Everybody would be happy. And that was good. The world was then rosy. The world was rosy until about 2009, when we had what we now call the GFC, the Global Financial Crisis, um, and the UK government decided it wasn't going to spend on anything on anything anymore, and support for UTMC as a national initiative fell away. Since then, it spent effectively, well, most of 10 years kind of in the wilderness. We kept it ticking over. Uh, one or two very minor updates. Um, but essentially, the specification of system interfaces and the associated paraphernalia that's on the UTMC website now is what was codified back in 2010. That's a long while ago. We know this. So, although the financial issues have also affected all of you in the room, and there hasn't been all that much investment, well, there hasn't been as much investment in improving your systems as I'm sure most of you would have liked. We are still, technologically speaking and operationally speaking, and even politically speaking, in policy-related speaking, quite out of date, and we know this. A couple of years ago, the opportunity came up through the Transport Technology Forum, to say, can we now do some reviving here? Um, we have this framework that's, that's being run on a national basis explicitly to provide transport technology uh, unifying mechanisms. Um, we said that, great, thank you very much. There's still very little resource coming through that and the recent change of government has not helped that process. Um, but, we have, as of 18 months ago, something like that, started a process of reinventing what UTMC is. Um, just to update on the, on, the, on the terms, UDG now refers to the group of people that are interested in traffic management uh, within the TTF community. And Steve, as the, as the leader of the formerly the, the UTMC working group, maintains databases of, of contacts and that kind of thing, and, and uh, through TTF gets all the circulation done. Um, we also have a steering group within that that is, has met several times now to, to chew over what it's going to be doing. And that's evolved quite interestingly. Um, those of you who have heard me speak at TTF events will know that um, we are changing the focus of UTMC as, as a, 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 a support resource from being 
what it always has been in the past, this collection of detailed technical, fairly detailed technical specifications, into something a bit less technical. The rationale for that is twofold. First and foremost, there are many more technical uh, fora around now than there were when UTMZ started. And in particular, you've got places like Topaz that are there maintaining a whole bunch of detailed specifications that, that we, we have never had it to do with um, because they relate to controllers. Why not regard those as being the primary authority for technical specifications and traffic management? So we have had a conversation with them. We are currently in the process of transferring the existing UTMC tech spec over to Topaz. So they will then control those documents from whenever we manage to complete the process, probably within weeks rather than months or years. What that means for us is that we are then free as the UTMC community to do something to do with the principles of how we were set up. Some of you will remember the glue diagram from early days, which had blobs of traffic management-y things around it called things like traffic signals, variable message signs, environmental sensors, you know, whatnot. Uh, and UTMC was supposed to be the thing that linked all those together. Well, we are currently in process again of jacking that up to a new level to say, actually what we need to do now is to link more broadly between traffic management applications and all those other things going out there that relate to traffic, like public transport, like the environment, like emergency services, like uh, school transport, anything that has an impact on traffic management will be of our would, would, would be in our interest. A whole bunch of new things, of course, come up um, since the original uh, uh, tech spec as well, which were kind of twinkles in the eye, but uh, now more than twinkles in the eye. Connected vehicles being one of those, automation potentially, um, uh, automated vehicles being being another. As as we go over the next decade, these are things which we have historically not attempted to embody in UTMC specs but need in some way to be connected to what traffic management does. And that's not just about bits and bytes travelling over the ether, it's also about operations and expectations and policies and whatnot. So those are the areas that we're now going to be looking at. We're very happy, of course, that we already have an established working relationship with Arctic. Um, Tim sits on our, uh, our steering group, which is great. Um, and between us, we will hopefully make this public transport to traffic management bridge. And so that's kind of what we're about here. We want to learn from the public transport world what it is in traffic management that needs to be done to make public transport easier, perhaps to convey to you some of the things that are happening in other bits of the industry, that might make your job easier, and generally speaking, to join up at that level. If at that point we say, actually, you know what, we really need an improved specification with this, that, or the other, well, discuss that, and then somebody will do it. But it probably won't be us, but it might be. Or we might say, actually, you know, that already exists within, and Tim is, is what places, already exists in the international standards community. So let's work out how we interpret that standard for UK purposes in the same way as um, NAPTAN has then fed into um, some of the things that are happening um, through SEND and so on. So that's UDG, that's UTMC. We are, we are reinventing ourselves to be much more policy focused, functional focused and uh, operational focused and much broader in our scope and ambit than the, the relatively straightforward piece of technical knitting that we were doing before. We look forward to continuing. Good. Thank you.